Welcome back. Today we're diving into Darren Hardy's The Compound Effect. At its core, this enlightening read teaches us how small daily choices can snowball into transformative life results. Through the lens of choices, habits, momentum, and influences, Hardy guides us on how to harness the unparalleled power of consistency and acceleration. Let's explore the ripple effects of our everyday decisions. The first chapter titled, The Compound Effect in Action, introduces the concept that small, consistent decisions have the power to produce substantial results over time. It's not about making one monumental leap, but rather about taking consistent steps, however minor they may seem at the moment. Imagine three friends, Amy, Brad, and Charlie. All are in their mid-30s, holding similar jobs and living comparable lifestyles. At one point, they decide to make subtle changes to their routines. Amy, noticing a few extra pounds, decides to cut out just one soda from her daily intake and take short daily walks during her lunch breaks. Brad, content with his life, chooses to keep things as they are without any significant changes. Charlie, on the other hand, feeling stressed with his work, adds a nightly routine of indulging in sugary snacks while watching his favorite TV shows. In the first few months, these changes seem negligible. Their lives trudge on and no drastic shifts are noticeable. However, as months turn into years, the differences become astonishingly evident. Amy, with her small adjustments, finds herself in better shape, exuding confidence and exploring new activities she'd never considered before, like hiking and yoga. Brad remains largely unchanged, comfortable in his steadiness. Charlie, unfortunately, battles with weight issues, frequent fatigue, and the onset of health complications. Bringing this principle into our daily lives can be as simple as choosing to read a book for a few minutes before bed instead of scrolling through social media. Imagine you pick up a habit of reading just 10 pages of a self-help book nightly. In a year, that's 3,650 pages, or roughly 12 substantial books. Think of the knowledge and insights gained just by this minor nightly adjustment. In conclusion, it's essential to recognize that our life's trajectory is shaped not necessarily by the grand gestures, but by the everyday choices we make. The sum of these small actions, taken consistently, can either steer us towards unprecedented success or lead to unnoticed stagnation. Principle number one is consistency over time. Recognizing that it's the accumulation of small, smart choices made repeatedly that generates transformative outcomes. Every decision we make, be it large or small, has the potential to shape our futures. It's like setting a ship's course. A small deviation in direction can lead it to a completely different destination over a long journey. In the second chapter titled, Choices, the emphasis is placed on how even the seemingly insignificant decisions can culminate into significant outcomes. Moreover, the choices we make often stem from our habits, but with awareness and concerted effort, these habits can be transformed. Imagine a musician named Dylan. He's talented and passionate about his craft, but he's formed a habit of procrastination. Every day he spends an extra hour on his phone, browsing aimlessly, pushing his practice sessions to later. Across town there's Elena, another musician of similar skill. Instead of succumbing to distractions, she chooses to dedicate the first hour after she wakes up to undisturbed practice. In the short term, the difference in their daily choices might not seem drastic, but over months, while Dylan struggles with the same musical pieces, Elena masters more complex compositions, performs at local events, and even starts teaching young enthusiasts. Their paths diverge significantly, all because of one hour spent differently each day. Translating this into our day-to-day -day lives, think about a common choice many face, the snooze button. When the alarm rings early in the morning, do you choose to snooze it, or do you rise immediately, seizing the start of the day? That one choice, repeated daily, can determine whether you have time for a morning routine, exercise, meditation, or even just a calm breakfast. Over time, these morning hours compound, leading to better health, a calmer mind, or simply more productivity. To wrap things up, every fork in the road, every small decision, directs the narrative of our lives. It's vital to become acutely aware of these choices and recognize that they're often driven by our habits. But the beauty lies in our capacity to change, to mold habits that serve our goals and aspirations. Principle number two is the power of choice. 
understanding that our decisions, stemming from our habits, dictate our life's trajectory, but they can be transformed with awareness and intentionality. In our daily lives, we often operate on autopilot, going about routines without giving them much thought. These routines, known as habits, are formed through repeated actions, ingraining themselves in our psyche. While some habits propel us forward, others can hold us back. Habits, the third chapter, delves into the nature of these automatic behaviors, emphasizing that they can be either our staunchest allies or our most challenging adversaries. Furthermore, by dissecting a habit into its core components, the trigger, the routine, and the reward, we gain the power to remodel them to our advantage. Consider Thomas, a writer with a knack for crafting compelling stories. Every evening after dinner, he feels the urge to snack, leading him to raid his cookie jar. This has become a habit. The end of dinner, trigger, leads to the craving for a treat, routine, resulting in the satisfaction of a sweet taste, reward. Over time, this habit affects not only his waistline, but also his writing productivity, as the sugar crashes drain his energy. Across the city, there's Sophia, another writer. She has a different post-dinner habit. When she feels the urge to snack, trigger, she opts for a brisk walk outside routine, reaping the reward of a refreshed mind and clarity of thought. The differences in their habits lead to contrasting outcomes in their professional lives. While Thomas battles fatigue and frequent writer's block, Sophia produces consistent, quality work and maintains a healthier lifestyle. Let's relate this to a broader context. Many of us might have the habit of checking our phones first thing in the morning. The trigger could be the alarm. The routine is scrolling through social media, and the reward is the dopamine rush from likes and notifications. To change this habit, we could replace the routine. After the alarm rings, instead of reaching for the phone, we could grab a book and read for a few minutes. Over time, the reward will shift from fleeting dopamine hits to the satisfaction of gaining knowledge. In conclusion, while our habits play a defining role in our lives, they aren't set in stone. By breaking them down and consciously reshaping the routines, we can redirect our paths towards better outcomes, ensuring our habits work for, not against us. Principle number three is mastery of habits. Recognizing the structure of habits and leveraging it to foster beneficial behaviors and discard detrimental ones. One of the most incredible forces in our universe is momentum. Once set in motion, objects, ideas, and even habits tend to stay in motion. The fourth chapter, titled Momentum, sheds light on this powerful principle, particularly in the realm of personal development. Once we establish positive habits, their continuation becomes less of an effort and more of a natural flow. As we remain consistent, these habits start to gain speed and weight, building a momentum that can drive significant changes in our lives, reminiscent of a snowball growing larger and faster as it rolls downhill. Imagine two entrepreneurs, Lucas and Mia. Lucas has a great business idea and starts with a burst of enthusiasm. However, his efforts are sporadic. He works in intense spurts followed by long breaks. Mia, on the other hand, commits to her business idea by dedicating a few hours every single day, even if some days she doesn't feel like it. Initially, their progress seems similar, but over time, the disparity becomes evident. Lucas's erratic work pattern makes it difficult for him to keep track of his progress and maintain client relationships. Mia's consistent efforts, however, lead to her business processes becoming smoother, her network expanding, and her client base steadily growing. While Lucas frequently has to start from a standstill, Mia benefits from the momentum she's built, making each subsequent effort slightly easier than the last. Relating this to our personal endeavors, think about fitness. Starting a fitness regimen can be challenging. The initial days of working out might feel tough, with sore muscles and a tempting desire to quit. However, if one persists through this phase, gradually, the exercises become more manageable the body craves the endorphin rush, and going to the gym or taking that morning run becomes a part of the daily routine. What once felt like pushing a boulder uphill now feels like riding a bicycle downhill. The momentum built through consistency turns resistance into assistance. In essence, momentum is a testament to the age-old adage, persistence pays off. By staying the course, maintaining consistency, and allowing our efforts to compound, 
we can harness the power of momentum to propel us towards our goals at an accelerating pace. Principle number four is harnessing momentum, understanding that consistent efforts, once established, build upon themselves, creating a self-propelling force towards success. We often hear the phrase, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This sentiment underscores a profound truth. Our surroundings, both in terms of people and the information we consume, have a tremendous impact on our beliefs, choices, and habits. In the chapter titled Influences, the significance of these external factors on our personal growth and decision-making processes is explored in depth. To truly steer our lives in the direction we desire, it becomes essential to be discerning about our associations and the information we expose ourselves to. Imagine two young professionals, Aaron and Zoe. Aaron, fresh out of college, joins a group of colleagues who frequently go out for drinks, indulge in office gossip, and often complain about their jobs. They recommend him movies and TV shows that offer nothing more than mindless entertainment. Zoe, on the other hand, aligns herself with colleagues who are driven, attend seminars, read books that stimulate the mind, and discuss innovative ideas. They share podcast recommendations, articles, and engage in constructive debates. Over a year, the differences in their growth trajectories become palpable. While Aaron feels stuck in a rut, often feeling drained and unmotivated, Zoe finds herself invigorated, brimming with new ideas, and rapidly climbing the corporate ladder. Their environments played a pivotal role in shaping their outlooks, aspirations, and daily choices. Bringing this to a broader context, think about your own life. The books we read, the shows we watch, the podcasts we listen to, and most importantly, the conversations we engage in, all feed into our mental ecosystem. If we continuously surround ourselves with pessimism, that's the lens through which we'll view the world. Conversely, by consciously choosing uplifting, educational, and positive influences, we set ourselves up for optimism, innovation, and growth. To encapsulate, our journey towards our goals isn't navigated in isolation. The external influences, be they people or information, serve as winds that can either propel us forward or push us off course. By being astutely selective about these influences, we can ensure our sails are always catching favorable winds. Principle number five is guarding your influence, recognizing the paramount importance of carefully choosing our associations and the information we consume to ensure they uplift and guide us towards our aspirations. While momentum is a powerful force driving us forward with consistency, there comes a time when merely maintaining isn't enough. We need to accelerate. The sixth chapter, aptly titled Acceleration, delves into this very concept. It suggests that once we have built a solid foundation through momentum with our good habits, we find ourselves at a launching pad, ready to propel further, faster. At this pivotal juncture, amplifying our efforts, making more significant changes, or taking bigger actions can lead to exponential results. It's about pushing the boundaries of our potential once the groundwork is laid. Visualize two athletes, Nathan and Isabella. Both have been training diligently for a marathon for months. As the race day approaches, Nathan decides to maintain his regular training regimen, focusing on consistency. Isabella, recognizing her built momentum, decides to amplify her efforts. She incorporates high-intensity interval training, adds longer runs, and even engages in mental conditioning exercises. The race day arrives. Nathan performs well, finishing in line with his previous records. Isabella, having accelerated her preparations, not only achieves a personal best, but even clinches a spot on the podium. Taking this notion into our personal and professional spheres, consider an entrepreneur with a steadily growing business. While the current growth trajectory is commendable, there's always an opportunity to innovate, expand into new markets, or introduce a groundbreaking product. Such pivotal decisions, built on the momentum of past successes, can catapult the business into unprecedented growth and profitability. In essence, while momentum ensures we're moving in the right direction, acceleration is the turbo boost that propels us to destinations we might have once considered out of reach. It serves as a reminder that resting on our laurels isn't an option if we aim for greatness. Once the groundwork is set, the real magic lies in pushing beyond our comfort zones, daring to dream bigger, and taking those audacious leaps. Principle number six is embrace acceleration. 
understanding that upon a foundation of momentum, there's an opportunity to amplify efforts, pushing boundaries and achieving exponential growth. And that wraps up our journey through the compound effect. Darren Hardy has brilliantly illuminated how the seemingly insignificant choices we make daily can pave the way for monumental change over time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you liked what you saw, a like would mean the world to me. It helps support the channel and lets me know you want to see more content like this. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.